Larry is kind of hot, isn't he? There we go. Hey, they're awake. They're actually awake. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Linden Road, just like you can do with Second Life Dragon Speed. just inform informed over the headset that <coughs> Sarah Jane Crowley is saying she is, won't come out to challenge Emma and Samantha tonight check in because it won't be under Emma's condition she will face her when she wants under her rules under her conditions uh, so I, I, I don't know uh, I think the I think the match is cancelled. Yeah, throw LG in there. No, it's fine. We can watch, we can have some midget tossing. Let's go. Hey, yeah, stay away from me. You, don't you come over here. Go away. Go away. <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm watching you guys. Here, have him. Get back in the ring. Okay, that was uh, painful again. So, did I hear that right as I came back, Sarah Jane Crowder refuses to face Emma on Emma's terms? Yes, you heard it, yep. big chicken. So basically, Sarah Jane Crowley doesn't want to face Emma unless Sarah Jane Crowley gets to do some kind of sneaky bullshit where she hits her from behind or sucker punches her, huh? Yep, that's about right, Wade. That is, that is literally, yep, you ultimate worried it, right there. Well, it's hardly surprising that Sarah hasn't bothered to show up tonight. She can jump people all she wants, but when the tables are turned, she doesn't want to be here. Be here next week and face us, or forever be known as a coward. <laughs> Sticks and stones, folks. Sticks and stones. 
You are nothing but a Tweety Pie. Oh, buck, 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 buck. Well, do you want to know how I call this fella? I call it bullshit. But it looks like both mine and Anna's agenda is quite empty right now. We were scheduled for a match, and the match is what we're going to give to you. And I might have a nice idea. Midget tossing, midget tossing. Just smacks LG in the head. Sam. Well, here is the thing. We are both here in this ring, and people here are excited to see an explosive main event. So let's put it's it gonna happen. this it's way. Gonna happen. What about Emma Greymist? Is thrown against me right here and right now. Oh. What do you think, Bella? Wanna do this? Are you ready? Good luck to do. Well, I was looking forward to teaming up with you tonight. The Team Free Fox can have our first official cat match next week. But yeah, I think we can do this right now. <laughs> and clear the rough roof of this place. Do people want to see this? It sounds like they do. Uh, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah, I agree. It does sound like they want to have a tag match tonight. Or a one-on-one well, -on -one match. Well, if they do, they're not going to get one. I'm a... I'm confused, go but ahead. I've been confused oh, yeah. since the uh, match started, but since the show started, I've been uh -huh. confused. Well, it looked like it's official, ladies and gentlemen. We got a new main event tonight. So, this match is for <laughs> one fold. Introducing first, hailing from the Asyl Asylum City in Central Europe. Uh, standing tall, 5 feet 6. Weighing in 165 sex. pounds, I like that. the Manta Foxy, and Ooh, introducing her feet. opponent, hailing from Belfast, Northern Ireland, weighing in things. 110 pounds, a height of 5 feet 3, Emma Kramist. All right, Emma Greymist versus Samantha Foxy. That is something that. Ooh. Smart Mark, you are not smart. Can we get some mud that. or some oil in here to make it even more interesting? Oh no! Hey, I'm seeing naked. Oh, sorry, did I say that loud? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oops. Jesus. Well, you get you get a little bit of it. Emma's gonna whip off a top there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a man can dream, can he? You aren't going to see any midget throwing, but you're definitely going to see some midgets flying. With Emma Gamist in the ring today, she's going to be doing some high aerial flying acrobatics. There's an R in her name. No, it's, it's Emma Gamist. Gamist. I not Gamist. You said Gamist. I didn't say Gamist. What you, you got in your mind? You've been watching yeah. the Playboy. You've been watching the Playboy too much. You, you totally me. said Gamist. Now you now you're making it out like I said it and it came out of your mouth. <laughs> Alright, the two ladies face off against each other in the center of the ring. Samantha Foxy and my I'm not five foot six. Don't stop <laughs> I didn't say that. Lyria said five foot <laughs> sex. Exactly. Which yeah. I kind of like. But <laughs> <laughs> two legends of the ring oh facing guys, off against rude, each other. Rude people. We got whipped cream. We got mud. This is a professional <laughs> wrestling match. This is not some and, boxy <laughs> boxing. <laughs> and, and it started to lock up right now in the center of the ring. Each woman jockeying for position over the other. Looks like Emma Graves came out on top of the quick wrist lock, twisting her arm around, and now she's got that leverage going on. She certainly does. Up into a nice arm bar. Very technical start for Emma Gray next year. I always hate these two in the ring. I have to like sit up properly so I can see them over the ring. But Santa Foxy with a beautiful reversal. Textbook reversal there. And now she has that arm twisting it. Yanking on it. Pulling that remember. shoulder out of place. You remember, these two have got a lot of experience, they practice together, they know each other's moves, they know each other's abilities, and I think they're going to be using a lot of them skills together. You can see there's a lot of reversals and a lot of uh, 
lot of technical moves. This is going to be a very even matchup, I can tell you that for a start. Emma Graymus with a beautiful snapmare to get Samantha Foxy off facing off against each other once again. Absolutely right, LG. The actual knowledge, wrestling savvy that these women bring to the ring, you're rarely ever going to see this much combined knowledge and experience in the ring all at one time. Well, and you got to think, for the last, uh, at least the last week, they've been training together to prepare themselves for this tag team matchup. Absolutely. And, and now we are right back into that wrist lock. Samantha Foxy jerking it on there pretty good. Emma Gramist in a bit of pain. You can see the grimace on her face as Samantha Foxy torques that arm down. With a kick to the gut, that's enough to stop that wrist lock in motion. I think that I'm going to have to sit there so... Oh, you could be the third one. Third stone, you have to be like the third person. Yeah, Bring back I'm Wild Wolf. <laughs> Samantha you Foxy must... down. I, I missed that. What? <laughs> you two. I, I honestly... Yeah, have... yeah, that's what I mean. She lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> and they call me rude. Samantha Fire Whip by Emma Graymus. Samantha Fox has come flying off it right into Emma Graymus with an armbar straight down. Beautifully executed technical move. Just a gorgeous maneuver there by Emma Graymus showing off her knowledge of wrestling. And Beautiful. Red thing on that arm. She's got it locked in right in the center of the ring, which is exactly where you want to be. You can hear Justine I'm asking wrenching. Sam if she's ready to tap out, but you got to know this one. Sam is not tapping out for anybody, especially not with a simple arm bar. You know, hey, there's nothing simple from Emma Gramis. She might be little, but she isn't simple. To the no-no? That was a hoof kick. <laughs> oh! DDT laid into Sam. Emma Graymus taking it right to Samantha Foxy. And Sometimes then you've got to go for something they don't expect, you know? They've been training together, they've been practicing. Good old kick to the old hoof and nut. That'll put you down. As long as the ref doesn't see it. As long as the ref doesn't see it. What did you just call it? It's a hoof and nut. The hoof and nut. Is that what a women's part is or a man's part? I don't even know what that means. Well, that's, I'm, I'm making words uh, on that. Okay. With LG, there's no talent. <laughs> By the top rope, come flying off! Boom. And... Boom! I still think Wolf could have thrown a further. Flying crossbody, and now we got the beard. One, two! But Somebody no. get the tape measure out, I want to know the distance. <laughs> and that's a Foxy getting her shoulder up. Just in time, we got a two count out of that one. Off some of her fly... Ah, high flying maneuvers right there. Well, well, oh, you get up, you get the rope, and this could be enough. You gotta be on your ball. I mean, this is one. This, this a double one. She got a shoulder up a second. She's got it down again. That's another one. Now you gotta be careful. I mean, these, these people, both of these two wrestlers, have been in the game for so long. Like like Wade said, and no matter how you get it, and if it means you catch your opponent off guard and get a quick pin. For it. If you're not ready for it, you're not prepared for it, and you've got to be prepared for every single instant. Absolutely, and now the <laughs> tide is turning. Samantha Foxy going on. Duct tape. Ah, there we go. Boom. <laughs> there it is. The ends of catching Emma Graham is full in the. I'll <laughs> take oh, that. Oh, oh. The running face was Graham is catching all of that one. Oh, she didn't like it the first time. She's getting it the second. A sliding form right now. Samantha Fox has Emma Graymus trapped in that corner. If Emma doesn't get out of there, she is going to be in a lot of trouble. Foxy going up with the pickup of the leg. She is dragging Graymus out he's of smart, that corner. He's smart. And then pin. roll up. Just, just in. There we go. One, two, third. And, 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 and a kick out by Graymus. That was close. That was too close. Hey, uh, hey Wade, will you look through the drawer on your side and see if there's any duct tape in there? No, no. I now know that Emma traveled 500 meters thanks to Smart over there. That's to be... 
I seriously doubt 500 meters as much as you traveled. And there is no duct tape, but I'm yeah, pretty sure if we, got, uh, if we got Playboy back out here to figure out a way to He's <laughs> looking at his knees. All right, knees Boom. right to the face. And then a DD. No. What was that? That was a float over DDT. That was beautiful. One and two. That was worthy of a three. Wow. Justin just, like, killed two, like, bears or something and just stick them on a leg. So what the hell that be? What are you looking at? It's the boots, not a boobs. Oh, the Uggs? Yeah, the Is that what you got on? <laughs> Horrible. Are we having a fashion show or a wrestling match? We had we had we had a dance off. Why not? We might as well. Oh, why not? Why not? Oh, anyway, Chip. Let's turn off the boxy gun full retard on. <laughs> oh, Emma Graymiss reaching down to pick up. So you did that, Samantha. Emma Graymiss sending Samantha Foxy into the corner. Big slam into that corner turnbuckle. Emma Graymiss going to her own corner. Looks like we might have something nasty going it's on. Emma Graymiss charging across. She is running across there Ooh. and slam. The corner slam. That must have seemed like forever for, for Amazon. Have you really, you really are talking yourself into some pain. You know that, right? Yes, <laughs> it'll happen at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> Emma Graham is pulling to the corner right now. Another veteran move, knowing that if you get her out of the corner and into the center ring, there's no rope to grab. You're gonna, get, you're gonna end it Raymond. with a neck break, and that's what's gonna happen. Beautiful neck break, a pin. One, two, and I think my voice cracked. Sound like Joe Flacco there. Yes, so that was crazy. If you start turning around going, hello ladies, we're gonna, we're, I'm going to be really worried. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll avoid doing that. Big pinfall, two count right there. Samantha Fox, has still got enough to kick out of it though. Emma Graymitz looking a little frustrated. Had hoped with that swing and neck breaker she was going to have that pin, but... It's going to take more than a neck breaker anyway. to put down little, little Sammy Foxy. She's a Foxy Roxy. All right, Emma Graham. You put them both together, they're nearly the same size as a normal wrestler. And a big Irish whip, sending Foxy into the rope. She starts coming off. Somebody's message you. What do they say? Says. What are they saying about the fight? They're hoping that Emma's shorts fall off. And oh, there Jesus. we go. Sunset flip. One, two. Oh, I get all excited, man. About the shorts falling off or about the mat? The big shot, Benji Nirvana entering the ring now. Wait, but entering the arena. We got some big names up in here tonight. Is that, well, you are that kind of guy. Everybody wants That's to That's it, I am that guy. It's fine, it's fine. Boom! All that right! That's you have. That's a bicycle kick. kick. The is going on the offensive now, going on the attack. Emma Graymas not knowing where the hell she... Hey, you know, she's got to have something big on her. The duck! Hey, she might not have lost her pants, but she definitely has got a hole in her leg. A drop kick! What? What did you just say? <laughs> as far as I can see, she's like missing a big chunk out of her thigh. <laughs> Drop kick to the knee, takes Emma Graymiss down to the mat. Samantha Foxy on top right now. Now she's just up that leg. Oh, we might see a submission holder. Can we get that figure four? That would be cool to see a figure four. I like it. It's four. coming in. And there it's she goes in. for it. There it is. It is. Leg lock. Are we going to get a submission? Emma Graymiss in the ring. She's got a long way to go to get to the ropes, ladies and gentlemen. I have been in this move for real, and I tell you, it fucking hurts. <laughs> Justine, right down there asking her, this is be, and I know these two are friends, but this is a career-ending move right here for some people. If they stay locked on too long, that knee is done. Emma pulling, clawing, trying to get to the ropes, and there she goes. Emma reaches. Justine calls for the break, and Samantha quickly breaks it, not really wanting to do any damage to Emma. 
She lets it go quick, and now she drags Emma back to the center of the ring. Let's hope she doesn't put that back on her. Second time's a chump. Oh, oh no. what is this? We got the sharpshooter, and there it is. She has got her in that sharpshooter in the center of the ring. Emma needs to tap out. No, she's she, got to do a she drag. Can't do that. She ain't gonna do that. Emma needs to save herself for another match. This wasn't meant to be anything serious. Y'all need to go ahead and let her tap out. Tap out, Emma. Nah, I thought we'd be a little time. Come on, let's, let's, let's see what we can do. That sharpshooter is a nasty bit of business. Emma Graham is in a lot of pain right now. And let me tell you, Samantha Foxy has got that thing locked in deep. Emma yeah, Graham is falling, right. falling. If you can, if you can bust up the strength, I mean, muster up the strength. There she goes, Emma. Graham is, makes it over to the ropes. Again. Justine, she's on the rope, off of the break. There we go. <laughs> it's it's you're, you're on it, Benny. But you'll end up like Wade here. It's like it's like one o'clock in the morning for him, and he's this pat. Excited here. I, I I know he's too. I can tell you're excited, my friend. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely... i done a good job ago. of weakening that knee. I'll tell you what, it's the breast yeah, match I've seen of the night. Up. And here comes Samantha Foxy all the way across the ring at the last moment. Big toe kick to the oh, belly. We're going to see some Richard Dawson. Boom. Emma Graham is putting her through the rope at the DDT. Emma Graham has some big boobs. I, I did say it was the <laughs> breast match I've seen today. It's it's definitely the breast match of the night. Well, I just happened to notice oh, they were laying on the mat, and all you could see was those mounds. That was... All right, Emma Graham has DDT on... Samantha, I gotta get my thoughts back in my mind. We I mean, you spoke, you sp I don't know how you pin somebody like that, you know? Very carefully. You just like part them and then... Double <laughs> count out going on right now. Emma Graham is making it to her feet first. Samantha Fox is still trying to figure out where the hell she is. Oh, we Who might be getting get that tape measure out. Um, Alright. Smart, Emma Mark. Graham is... Get that tape measure oh. out. We're on. Top of the ring. That can throw Samantha the Foxy slowly making her way up. Emma Gray Miss sees her and... Samantha Foxy right over into the corner. Not giving Emma Gray Miss a chance to get that high flying maneuver on, off. Son. Samantha. Oh. oh, Emma Gray Miss kicks Samantha Foxy in the face. Sitting her down to the mat. No, oh, and Emma's off the turnbuckle. This will be the perfect time for her to get yeah. back up there and fly. It's about 85 80 meters to struggle with cupcakes, Dosh. I, I, I can't even begin to understand that. 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 <laughs> Some weird. Once more, up up onto good. the top rope, and there she goes. The high fly maneuver. The Super Misty! Oh, what was the distance? What was the distance, Mark? And she nailed it, rolled her over, on her back! One, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one two, three. three! Boom! The winner of the match, we are pinfall, is Emma Kramer. Well, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen, our final match on main event. Emma Graham has just come out on top after that beautiful, mystified, coming off the top rope. Both women putting their all out there. I mean, hell, you wouldn't have thought that they were friends the way they were going at it. Well, you see, this is the thing. They were yeah, friends are the best. Friends are the best fighting buddies, though. That's it. I like it. I like it a lot. Both of them left nothing out. They both went after it. Like they had something to prove. And now you see why they are two of the best in the business, ladies and gentlemen.
Emma Gray and Samantha Fox. I can't think if it's a bad idea that I'm too fighting because they are gonna tag team at some point and injury and kill it. That's not the smartest idea. You know, I was thinking that too. I, I, I'm a smart wrestler, you know? But to be a wrestler, to beat people up for a living, you got a feeling in your mind about being back, not talking to me all the time. But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice, hot, warm bath, and both of them will be just fine. Fine. Are you in that bath? In my mind. In my mind, All right, any more sponsors to go before we sign off? Uh, we've always got sponsors. I can tell you there's two big sponsors that I'm saying to the very, very, very end. I'm talking now, and I'm saying a lot of stuff, but I'm not reading sponsors because I'm actually looking for the sponsors. There we go, I've got it. So, so we've got... <coughs> we got that. We've got King <laughs> Town Condo, uh, where you can actually live here, which is amazing. If you haven't seen enough of me, you haven't seen enough of the best of you want to actually live here, you have to see how it's amazing, it's up and up. And also, before you guys leave tonight, please put the black tank in the front, pick up your Xander Garcia's Pro DJ 